Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Monsoon Live right here in the arena, our home base. I'm your host, Jeffrey Monsoon Mysick, and my guest at this time is a local pro indie wrestler, Kit Osborne. Kit, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Um, tell us a little bit about your career. Uh, well, I started in way back in 2008. Uh, I went to uh, Combat Zone Wrestling Academy. Uh, where DJ Hyde is the head trainer and still is. Went to a show, they advertised for it, and I was just used to watching uh, WWE on TV. And I went to this indie show, Combat Zone Wrestling. It was definitely a lot different than anything I've ever seen before. Uh, after about a year or so, they advertised for uh, training, you know, for a tryout, a free tryout. And then I went, they, uh, they, Kicked my ass, and uh, <laughs> next thing I know, I, I, I kept coming back. <laughs> um, is there a wrestler, when you talk about the WWE, that had inspired you to get into ah, pro wrestling? Shawn Michaels. <laughs> I watched him when I was a kid, and I was four years old. Uh, and it was 1994. And watching him come out with his little, his little mullet and everything, and, and I, I just I, I thought he was different than everybody else. He was definitely a lot smaller than everybody else. Uh, and I just, I just locked on him. I just thought he was the coolest. Now we hear about folks making sacrifices in pro wrestling. What sacrifices have you made in your uh, career? Uh, well, I mean, when, when it comes to sacrificing, it's, it's that money that you're paying into it. You're investing into yourself. Uh, uh, you miss out on a lot of weekends, <laughs> right? Uh, and, you know, when you're sacrificing, sleep is probably the biggest one. Uh, you can ask any one of us, uh, and for for the most part, it's it's every night we go out there, we're sacrificing, you know, something as we're uh, taking a beating, especially being a smaller guy. Uh, you know, I'm I'm getting thrown around the ring, and and I just keep getting back up for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> um, how did you come up with your character? Uh, well, actually, one of my other, other trainers at CZW, uh, Drew Gulak, came up with the name Kid Osborne, uh, you know, and then it just stuck with me. But I didn't want to get rid of it. <laughs> I thought it was different than the rest. When you see that on paper, people go, what is, what is Kid Osborne? <laughs> right? And they see me. <laughs> um, well, uh, I mean, that, that's really with the whole, the whole name. Uh, my character, I mean, it's me. Um, you know, no different than how I am. Talking to you now. Now we have a uh, folks out there who watch our show, and they always ask, "What indie wrestler out there do you want to face? Like, if you could get them, say to the Philadelphia area, who would you want to face? If I could get anybody, anyone. Uh, well, you know, uh, I would say right now, who I, I like watching a lot is uh, Cody Rhodes on the indie scene. He's tearing it up. Um, you know, I mean, if it was up to me, I, I would like to wrestle every past WWF superstar that's on the indies now, thinking they can still go. <laughs> I think that would be, I would love to have just a catalog of those matches, you know. Bring King Kong Bundy out, you know. <laughs> I'll headline it. <laughs> um, what injuries, if any, have you experienced in your time, in your career? Um, I, a lot of them, I have, I've had concussions. Uh, I've had... I would I would say I hurt my neck to uh, more of a muscle pain, but it was such a nagging injury I had to uh, you know see a chiropractor for it and whatnot, and, and nothing seemed to work, and I was like this pain is just too much, and then I found uh, yoga and I started doing different yoga things for that. But other than that, I mean I'm still intact somehow. <laughs> I guess I don't take uh, I, uh, I try not to kill myself. <laughs> now we have some folks out there that you know maybe thinking about getting into pro wrestling maybe as a wrestler or manager what's your advice for them out there uh, I mean make sure that's what you want to do because if, if you're gonna half-ass it it's not worth it I've, I've learned that there's been times where I when I first started and I would take time off when you come back like you're, you're not anything you know you're starting all over again and you start losing that trust you know where uh, you know that are you that reliable? Are we gonna have you for this long, or are you gonna, you know, try some other venture or whatever? And I realized, come keep, you know, coming back. Like this is where I'm gonna be, and this is where I'm gonna stay until, you know, I can't do it anymore. Uh, but being young, uh, it was, uh, 
the, along with like the sacrifices, it's time and 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 patience. So if you if you have the patience to be able to do it, then you know sky's the limit and uh, pain tolerance. <laughs> um, my last question is. How does your family feel about this? I mean, you could do anything and you <laughs> went up to, hey, I'm going to be a pro wrestler. Well, I mean, uh, the, my dad, for example, uh, he, when I was a kid growing up, would always take wrestling away. I can't watch it if I was doing bad in school. And all that made me do was want to do it more and more. So then when I finally uh, was old enough uh, in high school and I went and started to train, you know, he realized, like, man, this is something you definitely want to do. And then he uh, supported it. He would give me that uh, the twenty dollars for taking the train, the subway, and the bus uh, all the way to South Philly from where I'm from, and uh, you know to train every every Monday and Thursday. And uh, the rest of my family just thinks it's weird, <laughs> but I don't really care. All right. Well, where can folks out there who are in the Philadelphia area, or they're coming through, or out anywhere where you're traveling, where can they catch you? Well, uh, they they can see me at every CZW show. Uh, and I travel around the, the Jersey area, but what if all updates, you can find me on uh, Twitter, uh, at Kid Osborne, K-I-T-O-S-B-O-U-R-N-E, and uh, Instagram, Facebook, and all that. <laughs> all right, well, Kid, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Folks, next time he has a show, check the uh, Facebook page. We'll have his dates up on there. But that's it for Monster Life. You guys have a great week. Later days.